Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. In the search for the replacement for the 500 EXC, I found myself in Tucson at Cycle Skis and ATVs and got a close-up look at the new 300i, which is Husqvarna's entry into the fuel-injected two-strokes. Let's take a look. My name's Dre with Cycle Skis and ATVs. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the 2019 Husqvarna TE300i. They released a TE250i in 2018. It was one of the first fuel-injected two-strokes, and now for 2019, they're doing it in the TE300 model. It's a great bike. One of the nice things about going to a fuel-injected two-stroke is you don't have to worry about a pre-mix anymore. You now have a 0.7 liter oil tank. You can usually get about three uh, tanks of gas to one tank of oil, depending on your riding style. And you also don't have to worry about pre-mix, you don't have to worry about jetting, and you get precise fuel delivery all the time. How you doing, Joe? Pretty good, Joe, how you doing? Uh, so I got a couple questions for you, and probably the one that's been nagging at me the most is with the TPI, with the fuel-injected bikes, do you have the ability still to mix differently for different situations? It's based off the mapping of the vehicle, so you don't really have an option of how you're gonna mix anymore. Okay. You just fill up your oil tank, fill up your gas tank, and kind of go from there. With the Husqvarna TE300i, you do have a switch on the right side of the handlebar that gives you two mapping modes. One's a little bit more rider friendly while you're getting used to the two-stroke 300. The other one's just gonna be a little bit more aggressive riding style. So you can kind of pick and choose your two different mapping options, which is a nice feature they do have on the TE300i. Do you think that in the future you'll be able to remap these? I think they will. Um, one of the nice things that we have seen with Husqvarna over the last couple of years is they are aftermarket companies who do provide different mapping scenarios and different mapping systems that you can get for them. Potentially, uh, I think probably in the future some people are going to want to change that mix. Yeah, Especially everybody likes to kind of customize their bikes and their mapping to their riding style, of course. So, you know, the more the more as you learn the bike, there may be things that you want to change on it, and those will definitely, it's an option to make the bike more unique to your riding style. But as of right now, we just don't know, right? As of right now, it's kind of it's kind of up in the air if anything's going to be like that, but I'm sure it'll be coming out in the future. Uh, how, how often do you think Husky, like, changes design, makes design changes? Is it every, every bike release? So we've been a dealer from them. We've been a dealer with Husqvarna since late 2017, and we've already seen two different changes. So the 2017, they completely redesigned the bikes, um, especially the motocross bikes, and now moving forward to 2019, they made a lot of big changes as well. So they're constantly changing, constantly developing, and constantly improving their bikes so they stay on top. All right, man. Well, I really appreciate the talk. Thanks. Not a, a problem, Joe. Thanks for stopping by today. That's awesome, man. We got a full selection of the Husqvarna's here. We're getting most of the 2019s in stock. Come check them out. Come down to Cycle Skis and ATVs and check out the brand new TE300i.